In this video, I'm showing you the best Optifine settings for Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So in this tutorial, I'm showing you the best ways to maximize Optifine to speed up your game. And yeah, I hope you do find it useful. And without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have got Optifine already installed. I have made a tutorial on this if you haven't. And let's go and get into these settings. So let's go and do this. So of course, the first thing you want to do is go and simply press escape on your keyboard and you're going to get your game menu. And then you want to do is click on the options and let's go and get into the settings. Now, I recommend you watching this full video because I'm showing you all the settings throughout the video. And yeah, we're just going to get into this. So come into video settings. Now, just a quick note, these settings will vary a little bit by each computer. So I do recommend probably testing them to see which work best on your computer. But without any further ado, let's just go and continue with this. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and click on graphics and go and change it till it's on fast. Then for smooth lighting, honestly, it works best just being completely off, um, but you could try on minimum, but off is going to be the, the fastest way. And the same for smooth lighting, you could test which sort of level works best for you, but it being completely off is going to be the fastest. The GUI scale, that's of course up to you and the brightness is up to you as well. For dynamic light, that's probably going to be fastest it being off as well. Another render distance, of course, it's going to be fastest being on two chunks, but that can make the game pretty unenjoyable. So you can just try and increase it a little bit. Um, so you may get away with it being on eight and you can still see a decent amount on in the game. For the frame rate, honestly, you capping it isn't going to make a difference. So you're probably better off just being unlimited. Um, on unlimited, sorry. Um, so yeah, have that unlimited. View bobbing, that doesn't really make a difference. If you didn't know, um, it just sort of changes your movement. That does make a major difference, so that's more up to you. Entity shadows, that is going to be best being off, um, so try that. Now let's go and get into the next stage, which is quality. So click into quality. Now changing some of these settings is going to make your game restart, so that's just a quick note. So you want to make sure mid map levels are on off, so all we want to do is go and click on the left of the box, and it's going to restart the game, and it's going to go and hopefully be on off. As you can see, it's now on off. You then want to make emissive textures on off as well. And that's going to restart the game as well. And for better grass, that's already off, which is good. Um, but you can have that on fast if you want it to be. Um, you can test that out for yourself. Custom font is going to be a little bit faster being off, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. So try that being off and just see how it makes a difference. For connected textures, try and turn that off as well. Um, as you can see, that will restart it again. And there are a few different options for connected textures. As you can see, there's fast as well. Custom sky, of course, that's going to be off as well. And custom entity models will also be off. Now we'll have to wait for this to restart. We'll come up to the right column. Now this is going to be fastest being completely on nearest actually. And then random entities is off as well. And then for custom colors that is off as well. And actually the rest of these are off. So custom items and custom GUIs is off. So click there, it's going to restart the game and there are the fastest settings. So then I'm going to go and click on done and we'll go and get into the next section. So let's go and jump into performance now. So honestly, you want to have render regions on. It seems to be a little bit faster. Um, so try that. Have smart animations, that's on as well. And then for smooth FPS, this honestly, you could try both. It may make a difference, it may not. For chunk updates, you can also change that as well. It does say it being on number one is meant to be the fastest, so try that one out. And for lazy chunk loading, have that on as well. And then fast render, that's going to be on um, as it's going to be a little bit faster. And then you want fast math to be on as well. And then you can have these both on as well. So turn dynamic updates on. Then go and click done and we'll go and get into the next batch. So now let's go into details. So let's go and run through these settings. So for clouds, it's best for them to be off, but you could have them on default. So see what is fastest, but off is going to probably be the most. And then for trees, honestly, try it being on fast. Um, it does make them solid, but it does make the game load a lot faster. For sky, that's probably going to be okay on, um, but you can try it off and it will be a bit faster. So we can try that just to maximize this. For sun and moon, that can be off as well. And for fog, fast is quite good, but being off is going to be the fastest, of course. And then for dropped items and vignette, being on fast is going to be the best. So put it on fast. And then along for this right hand column, rain and snow being completely off is going to be fastest as well. And same for stars and for show capes. And then for fog, 
if we look here, it actually says this option doesn't make a difference. If you look over that again, uh, as you can see, this option is usually not affecting performance. So you could see what works best, but that's more going to be up to you. And then held item tooltips doesn't make it much of a difference. And swamp colors can be off and alternate blocks can be off as well. So then for bar blend as well, if you drag it this way, as you can see, it being completely off the fastest. So see if that makes a difference, but you can also increase it if, uh, if you want to test it out. Then go and click done and we'll go and get into the next settings which is under other and they're the main settings so let's go and test it out so let's go and click done and click back to game done again click back to game now this game hopefully is going to run a lot more smoother on your computer as you can see there are a few key things we did for example like turning the merging biome off as well let's go and reset this just to show you how to in case you just want to have it back to normal so click on s come to options and then come to video settings and then come to other and all you want to do is click reset video settings click there it's going to take a minute and you want to click yes and it's going to reset and then we'll be back to the default setting so and i did just change my fov there but yeah it's literally that easy to go and change it back if you dislike any changes you made hopefully this has made your minecraft a little bit faster if you did find it helpful please go down below and leave a like and go and subscribe have an awesome day peace